If your team is causing you tons of frustration and you want them to perform efficiently, perform effectively, stop making mistakes, do a great job with customer service, connect with each other, collaborate with each other, work as teams, there's only one thing you need to do. It's not about hiring correctly, although that's a factor. It's not about complicated customer service training, although training is important. All you need to do is help create an identity that your team can identify with and be excited about and inspired by and want to engage with and want to live in and improve in. I'm going to share a study with you really quick. Back in 2007, there was a study of some housekeepers, some cleaning people who were told they were split up into two groups. And one group was told the work that you're doing meets the fitness requirements for having excellent, fit, excellent fitness as a fitness program. You can lose weight, you can build muscle, you can lose fat, you can get stronger, you can become better looking, and life is better because of this work that you're doing that fits the standard for, for uh, fitness and for getting healthy. They told the other group nothing new. They just said, hey, get to work, you gotta go out and clean these properties. And at the end of the study, a little bit of time went by and it was just a few months and I don't know the exact timing. I can look at the details here. Yeah, four weeks. Four weeks later, the group that was given the identity that the cleaning work they were doing was a fitness program, lost fat, their body mass index is improved, they had weight loss, they were vibrant, they were energized and the thing is, job satisfaction went up considerably. They were effective, they were efficient, they were focused and they're also feeling really good about themselves because of that body-mind connection. Performance went through the roof. So if you want to do this for your team, you want to leverage, they call this a placebo effect, but really it's more important than that. It's the identity effect, and it's a simple process that you go through. So let me walk you through it. First of all, let's have some fun with this. If you want to have your team operating like an elite level team, where they're working with teamwork, they're thinking about the mission, they're thinking about the objective, they're making you more money, they're making the customers happier, they're showing up, getting the work done, making sure it's accurate, and then they're getting back and moving on to the next project. And they're doing it with care, with heart, compassion, empathy, all the things that are important in taking care of customers. And they're, they're gobbling up information, they're, taking full, they're fully participating in training, they're just becoming better. All you have to do is have them believe very, very simply that the work they're doing matches the identity that you want them to match. And they have to believe in it. So here's how you do it, okay? I'm gonna give you a sample identity that you can give to your team. Now it depends on which one, you get to pick it. You can even cultivate different traits and characteristics of your team that you think reinforce how you want them to perform. But I'm gonna use an example, all right? I just created one for Jason Bourne. So if you have a group of guys, as an example, who are technicians or they work out in the field and they have tools, they want to feel good. They want to look good. I mean, everybody, any guy who's watched The Bourne Identity, Supremacy, Ultimatum, any of those Robert Ludlum movies, you see this Jason Bourne character who's like larger than life, super fit, incredibly good at martial arts, incredibly effective as this superhuman dude. And he's got these great skills and capabilities. So what you do is you cultivate an identity. Let me take you through the steps. Your team will perform at a whole different level. And you can pick the identity pull out the traits and you can create it for any identity that you want. This just happens to be for guys who are working in the field, but we can help you craft an identity in any category. And if it's a little confusing, it's okay if you wanna ask me questions, but this is how you do it. First of all, um, you create an identity framework. So an identity framework is a list of characteristics and traits and then an understanding of metrics that this person's gonna to move towards. You've gotta to create a belief around this identity that when you do, when you're in this identity, this is who you're becoming. And you can talk about metrics like you get stronger, you get smarter, you get more uh, capable, you have better skills, you, you connect with people better, you're changing lives, you're operating at this, at this peak performance person in this business. This just gets you at a whole other level. And when, when you know, for instance, with the cleaning ladies you saw, they got fit. They love their job more, they, they cut fat. So again, you do the same kind of thing. So you create a framework, you just paint a picture, like a profile of the characteristics and traits that this role for this team in your company will become because you have this in place. You come and work here, you're gonna work at our company, this is who you can become. And you get the kind of people who match these characteristics who are like, yo, that is, who I want to become. Here's what's cool. If people want to get fit, you can include that in the identity. If they want to be incredibly 
capable and feel good about themselves and for certain things, you can include that in the identity. It's just a description, just a, like a dossier or a profile. It's, a, it's a, a character profile, okay? Then you create, you do identity training. Now, what you want to do is use language around the identity training. Like if it's going to be customer service, you can call it uh, customer field interactions. If, if you're, again, we're do, going down this Jason Bourne route. You can talk about, uh, we'll go through the characteristics and traits of Jason Bourne, but you, you basically take them through training and you establish language. If you're doing sales, then you talk about what they're doing. So uh, new customer or acquisition, uh, sales engagement for uh, home air optimization. So you've got this awesome process of customer engagement, problem solving engagement, uh, onboarding for problem solving. You can come up with really fun languaging and I'll go through a couple different ideas around that. So you create training and you use the lingo just as if you're taking it right out of the Robert Ludlum novel. You don't just say we're going to do some sales training today. <laughs> Boring. You say something a little bit different. You make it fresh. You make it fun. And you just, again, we'll, we'll go through some examples. And then performance metrics, then you decide. For instance, in the case of those cleaning ladies, there were performance metrics. So they had metrics about body mass index, about their weight, about their strength, about how they felt about their job. So you can have those metrics in place around this position. So these guys will be like, whoa, I am becoming... Jason Bourne, this is awesome. And people, I mean, as a man, I can speak to this myself. I love the idea if I'm doing work out in the field and I can put on some cool boots and I can have a, you know, my, my gear with me. I love to have a good bag, like a backpack. And I like to have, um, you know, I like to have my, the tools that I need to go do the job. It makes me kind of feel weaponized, like a badass. And people want to feel amazing about the work that they're doing so it matters so they can feel like you know what this is really good sort of like x-men avengers jason bourne so you get the idea and again this is one example we could go to a, a completely different business there's we could write infinite number of examples this is just one okay so here's the deal if you're doing the jason bourne thing let me go down the list first is characteristics if you're creating the framework you, you can write job descriptions you can build your training you can create your metrics around these characteristics, okay? Elite human performance training. Imagine if working at your company was uh, designed to be elite human performance training. Would you want to show up to that training? We're going to sharpen your mind. We're going to sharpen your communication skills, your ability to influence and connect with other people. We're going to help you have uh, situational awareness to understand what's really going on. And, and to understand the nuances of the customer, profiling their situation, understanding what their fears and concerns are, helping to set the stage for what the mission will be, what risks or expectations there should be. And the client's gonna be like, whoa, these people really care. We're gonna talk about empathy, compassion, manner, how to, how to, how to integrate and operate under intense circumstances based on feedback, so situational awareness. And now, the third example would be, as an as a identity framework is, Heroic, special forces level, precision, accuracy, and effectiveness. So imagine if your team, first of all, cared about each other. They were precision, accurate, efficient, and effective, and they were always improving. See, one of the key needs of a human being in a job or in life in general, for you as an owner or for anyone else, is to feel like you're making progress, to feel like what you're doing matters, to feel a sense of connection to other people, to feel confident in yourself, but also to have a sense of each day you're getting better, you're making progress, there's a newness and a spontaneity and an excitement around what you're doing. And when you create a character, someone can go play that character, someone can play that role in your company and their performance is going to go up, their job satisfaction is going to go way up. When people have an identity that they're inspired by, and they understand the progress they make and how they're going to be measured. It's just like the elite Navy SEALs or elite Special Forces or Jason Bourne or anyone else. If they're going towards something, if they're making progress towards something that matters to them, and they understand it, and the training is built around it, and the hiring is built around it, and the mission and the vision of the business and the difference and impact you're going to make for customers is built around this, people will get pumped. It's not just like, okay, we're going to do a leadership training. No. We are going to maximize your human performance capabilities. Now, if you go to a training and someone says, okay, we're doing human performance capabilities, we're doing upgrades today, and all of a sudden you got guys, they're not thinking about, oh, boring training, get out your notebook and pen. 
and get ready to take a bunch of notes and see if you are ready for the quiz. No, it's like, dude, I'm increasing my human performance. I'm increasing my situational awareness. You know, if you saw Jason Bourne, it's a good example of, yo, hey, you with the red bag. We watched the guy disarm someone in the park. We watched him disarm someone in a bank. We watched people chasing him and he's hanging from a ledge and he's escaping. It's like he's so focused on his mission. Imagine the training you can build around that identity. And here's what's great. Do they have to become Jason Bourne? No. Do they have to get involved with military training? No. But it's the reason people watch movies. It's the reason people participate in anything. People participate in these experiences because it feels good. I, I, I feel significant. It adjusts and upgrades my self-image. I want to feel like a badass. I want to feel like my work is constantly making progress. And also, you can add something awesome to this. Based on these metrics, you can actually create compensation tied to the performance, tied to the scores, and also overall you can have celebrations for an entire team. So they all feel like, hey, when the team's improving, when everyone's doing high fives and collaborating to hit better goals, everybody improves. So again, they call this placebo effect, but really it's an identity effect. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, and maybe this happened to you, I watched Superman and I'm laying in my bunk bed. I don't know how old I was, probably uh, six years old, five years old, and I'm trying to break the two by fours that hold the back of the bed together because I wanted, to, I wanted to identify with the character of Superman. And I was like, okay, if he can do it, I can do it. And the next day I'm like jumping off rocks, trying to fly because human beings, our, our, our image, when we watch a movie, we start to integrate with the characters who we appreciate. Same thing with the cleaning ladies. They integrated with the feeling like, oh, you know what? I'm feeling a little sweaty today. I must be working out. I must be getting stronger. I must be getting leaner. I must be cutting fat. And the thing is they worked harder, they worked faster, and they got healthier in the process. So upgrade the identity framework for your hiring, for your training, for the way you interact with your team, for the level of respect you have for the role. Which do you want to be? Hey, you're, we're training you to be a great HVAC technician. Or do you want to be like, we're training you for peak human performance. Today, your role will be going out in the field and helping keeping families safe and comfortable. And we're gonna do it through upgraded human performance. So every time you're out there interacting with people, you're gonna be refining your ability to profile and engage with people. Let this sink in, because you wanna see yourself have a whole team that's driving your profits, that are, they're saying the right things and doing the right things to hit goals that help your customers say, you know what, I'm going to put a great review out there. These guys are amazing. I've never seen anything like this. It's an identity upgrade. It's an identity upgrade and it, it happens fast. If you have questions, by all means, pop a note down. Let me know. Send us a message at The Minimalist CEO. Help at TheMinimalistCEO.com. More than happy to point you in the right direction. And I can even give you a worksheet that will help you start this process. I'm Nate Lindquist, The Minimalist CEO, and uh, this is, by the way, you put someone through this, you promise them this, you're creating a huge amount of trust with your team. And it's it, when your team trusts you, and when your team is engaged, and you're excited the way they're performing, and you have a framework for what you're building, man, it will change your business, it makes it way more fun, and uh, makes you more money, so why not?